Hello everyone and welcome back to Academia School Simulator. I am Obi-Wan Dam and this is the last episode before the 1.0 update will come to Steam and we will start to play it. So again, please don't forget to go down to the comment section and let me know if you should um, or if you w would like to see me continue playing on Jacob's River, um, start a new school from scratch or even sell the school for... 332,000 and uh, use this cash to well kickstart our new school for the 1.0 update. Um, what we will do in this episode is first of all finish our current grant that we um, that we took which is uh, research worker routing. So the power tools are pretty expensive um, but it will increase the build speed so maybe we can even get rid of some or we, we only have three workers at the moment um, but they will work faster. Oh look at this bulk of students arriving. Okay the cooks are cooking. You are bringing the new, new stuff to eat. Yeah, one student is absent due to sickness. Why? We, got, we have a clinic. Come to school. We have maybe this is even better than the public. Uh, what is it called? Um, hospital. Not sure. Mm. Okay. Why are the students not on their seats? What I would like to do is, um, actually, because I wonder, let's take a look at our workers. Okay, so they are in the lounge at the moment. What are you doing? Getting to work. Uh, oh, you come here to repair the microscope. I was wondering if the um, workers will actually repair stuff on their own before it gets broken. Or if they just wait in the lounge. Yeah, they are just waiting in the lounge. Let's you create routes for your workers. Unlock worker routing. Uh, yeah, and you can he see over here, workers on routes will be able to see broken items more easily. So it looks like if the workers are on a route, they will actually uh, repair stuff automatically? That's, that's pretty nice, I guess. Okay, so food is prepared and the cooks are having more or less free time. But what I thought you might be able to do is to increase the size of the cafeteria a little bit more because we have this nice area over here that's currently just fenced off. And um, if we remove a little bit of pathing, um, oh, also students are traveling over here, which they should not. Um, we could add two additional tables in here. And I think I like that. Well, let's speed up the game. And should we go all the way to here? Yeah, I think so. We will do that. We will then demolish all of this then we will have the floors right here um, have cafeteria and then can add an additional cafeteria table right here, right here. And additional benches. And yeah, I think we can, we can move one of the food counters to go um, right here. And then we can sell this one. Yes, this looks way cleaner than before. Oh, also, yeah. Um, I messed up the placement of those benches. Can you please remove them real quick? Thank you. 
So what I, I think I would like to have those benches be placed like this. Can you place or also remove this one? They can research worker routing. Okay, objects, cafeteria. Table and bench like this. Okay, perfect. And then we can just add some decoration. Oh yeah, maybe a clock. And also some windows. Um, can add double big window in here. And then just regular windows right here. And then even a potted plant down here. bulletin board oh and there's stuff uh, there's enough room for another potted plant okay student has been set straight there's more stuff almost broken like this toilet over here Okay, and now we need to make sure, yeah. Um, wait a second, we could. Yeah, I think we will do this. We can remove the, um, the fencing completely. And on this floor, we will just add grass. Like this. Now we are at five thousand. What about the loan? You could pay back some of the loan. No, just half of it. Just make sure that we have two thousand left, <laughs> just in case there is an event. Okay, now worker routing is done. Uh, create two worker routes and assign one route worker to each route. Okay, so logistics. Uh, oh, worker priority. Oh. Okay, nice. Uh, worker, worker routes, add route. Um, let's see. Usually stuff is broken in those rooms over here. And now maybe the, what's the most expensive? I think the computer room. So like this and the science room. Ah, damn it. This one. And then the other room. I don't know, maybe go from toilet to toilet to, to the cafeteria. Like this. Okay, but now we only have one worker um looking for stuff so i think i want this route to be removed this one is fine just to prevent computers and um, science equipment from from breaking and also why was there no bake sale today Just for the extra money. Okay, so now let's take a look at the grants. What do we have? Um, oh, we had some dropouts. So yeah, this means we can accept five additional seniors. Nice. Everyone has a seat. Perfect. Completely missed those dropouts, by the way. No idea why they went. Potentially, again, this issue with food. So let's see. Yeah, we have three cooks already. Maybe we need a fourth one. I don't know. Let's add another cook and then check the grants. Um, 
Oh, we already f did that. So there's a free grant. Accept more students, doesn't work. Um, improve school lunch. Uh, research nutrition planning set ingredients to superior. I like the sound of that, actually. Um, let's see. This is leftover. Shouldn't this be somewhere around here? No nutrition. Oh, it's 5,000. Wow, this is really, really expensive. Um, I was wondering if there is something with the school bus. Schoolkeeper, small status. Student transportation. Yeah, I like that. I would like to have assigned at least one student to a bus stop. Uh, I want to have a school bus. We can already research it. It is somewhere uh, right here. Uh, I think this area over here, right next to the main entrance, or on the right side, um, this is perfectly fitting for a school bus. And given the size of this school already, um, I guess this school bus might come in handy. So let's do this. Let's see. Um, going to route. Okay, so he's just going around checking stuff. I hope that nothing will break over there. And there was another dropout. It is now the third student and you are... You are in a sophomore class. Okay, this is weird. So maybe the cafeteria really needs the maximum amount of... Um, of seats. But shouldn't that be more than enough space for all students to actually eat? So cooks are now... It's the fifth episode, uh, period. So there's still one hour left until Oh, wait a second. There's no food left. <gasps> oh no. Uh, well, guess what? We need more refrigerators. Yeah, let's stack up on refrigerators. Oh no. So we have enough stoves, but we just don't have enough refrigerators with food in it. Oh, nice. Ref <laughs> the refrigerators come pre-filled. This is amazing. Okay, so now let's see. Um, students are coming in. There is still food on... Yeah, now it's now it's empty. Oh, okay, so... It might, uh, might have been the dropout because of... Um, so maybe the schedule was fine, but it was just not enough food for all the students. Oh, this is pretty stupid. Okay, I think this kitchen now fixed this. We might even fit in one additional refrigerator. No, we can fit in two right there, right here. Also, why not give those cooks uh, some decoration? Is there... Decoration on its sale on its own utilities. No, it's not. Okay. In this case, just add just add some plants between the fridges. There's a broken file cabinet over here. Broken water fountain. Broken bench. Okay, so now we have broken computers over here. And you don't see those? You walk through this door. Dude. Must be kidding me, right? Okay, so in this case... Um, wait a minute. If you go to the center right here... Do you see this? Okay, now you do. 
I think I already ordered someone to repair this one, okay. So he really has to stand in the center of the of the room. Which makes sense. No, oh, there's something broken as well. Okay, so now it's the morning. Let's see. There is the food delivery. Oh, I have an idea. What we can do is... Uh, we can add a door. Right in here. So the cooks don't have to... Uh, don't need to run around. All the way to reach the kitchen. Ha ha! Perfect, but now we have to um, permission to stuff only. And we also need the kitchen tile. Where is it? Over here. Okay, perfect. So now the refrigerators are all full. Cooks are working. This one is failed. This one is failed. Okay, so let's watch the the lunch um, also we can I think we can fire one of the nurses um, okay maybe not maybe we'll keep him okay so now everything is filled up now we just need to wait for the students to arrive Oh, and the bus stop is done. Um, let's see. Bus stop. It needs benches and it needs a bus stop. Does it need anything else? Ooh. Oh, wait. A general bus stop. Nice. So we will just assign if we assign this air this big area we also have to make sure it uh, yeah 10 by 4 is fine so let's do this um, and then we need a floor in here gravel no stone floor stone floor for the or paved paver floor is fine for the bus stop like this uh, and then it's a bus stop I don't know in the center to the side maybe here and it requires some benches let's see okay now everyone had their food and there's still food left it looks like And also, most of the students get rid of their plates, so maybe um, it's not enough. Maybe we just need even more of those. Man, cafeteria is really... <laughs> okay, so now the bus stop is done. Um, school bus usage. Nice. Ten of those? We have ten seats, so let's see how this goes. I would like to see the school bus arriving at the end of this school day. Okay, okay. Oh come on. Another one who left? What about what happened to you? Yeah, you are also not getting food. I I don't get it. I give up. I have no idea. We increased the size, we've managed the schedule. Um, we bought more fridges, more cooks, more plate counters. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's just something that happens. We need to accept that. From time to time, <laughs> students just starve in our school. Another one. Nice. 
And you are a uh, junior. Also, maybe because... Um, let's take a look. Now this one is empty. Okay, so the cooks were not able to refill this in time. Okay, so we need an additional food counter in here. Or another issue might be maybe um, we have too many food counters and um, they do not run out during the first lunch and in, in basically every food counter still has, I don't know, one meal left. And then the, the cooks start to prepare additional um, meals when during the second lunch period um, the food counters get empty. Huh. No idea. <laughs> Maybe this is something that will be optimized during uh, in the 1.0 launch of the game. Okay, speaking of the 1.0 and looking at the clock that we are already more than 20 minutes in this episode, um, I kindly ask you to vote again how we should proceed with this school. And um, I will definitely, um, first of all, check if someone uses the bus stop. It doesn't look like, so maybe they have to arrive by bus and then they will also leave by bus. Um, also, we will finish this school here. We are now at day eight. So the next episode in 1.0 will start with the last day of the fifth school year. And after this day, we will do well whatever uh, we decided upon. So thank you very much for watching again. Thank you for voting if you did. Um, and then I will see you next time in 1.0. Also, there's the bus. And we don't even need the waiting chairs. So it's fine. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.